Welcome to the show. I'm Josh Taylor. And I'm Jenna Morton. And today is going to be so much fun. You do not, like, I can't even ex describe how excited I am. About today. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a blast. We have talked so many times on this show and just in our lives in general about how important it is to support local and that that mm -hmm. does not just mean that you buy your groceries from a farmer. It means that you read local and that you listen local. And so today is all about listening local. We have a fantastic guest joining us, Heidi Lynn O'Connor, who is the brains behind East Track Mind. Welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm so happy to be here. So before we... And I'm like, <laughs> we feel the same. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> before we kind of dive into exactly why we're so excited, explain to people what exactly East Track Mind is. Yeah, sure. Um, so East Track Mind is a, a playlist service, basically. I have 18 plus playlists on Spotify so far. There's more coming out all the time, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. And um, I have one for each of the provinces that I do, which are Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI. So we're keeping it really local. That's the whole point. So I do those four provinces. They each have their own playlist. They also have playlists by genres. I have spotlight playlists. If, for example, I have an Indigenous playlist and an LGBTQ plus playlist of all of the artists from our region um, that are a part of those communities so that we can support those people as well and I go to local businesses and I you know I, you've probably experienced this you go to like a local craft brewery and they're like support local beer drink our local beer and what are you listening to when you're in there yeah what uh -huh. are you listening to yeah. so I go and American I say to them listen 40. like <laughs> right <laughs> So I go and Not my jam, <laughs> just so we're clear. I know, and, and, and people aren't aware of the amazing music we have here, and that is part of the problem. So I go to these businesses, and most of them are playing their music through Spotify already mm -hmm. anyway. And I say, hey, like all you have to do is click onto my playlist instead of the one you're clicking on. That's it. It's free for them, and, uh, and as soon as they do that, they're then spinning local artists. Their spins are growing, and um, I know a lot of people have complex feelings about Spotify, but what people don't realize is it's not just about what they're getting paid for the spins, although I, obviously we all want that to be more. Mm -hmm. But when these artists are applying for grants, festivals, whatever, the first thing that's going to happen is someone's going to go see, is anyone listening to them? Are they going to draw? Mm -hmm. And they do that by looking at their spins. So you can imagine as my business grows, um, if, I, if I can bring businesses on board through all four provinces and they're each spinning that artist even once a day, what that would do to their spins compared to what they're getting now. And also just the fact that if you're in there and you're hearing those artists, you might be more likely to go to a show if you know mm -hmm. who they are. Um, so that's what I'm working on and uh, trying to bring more businesses on board, let people know that I'm out there. Um, and also every single Friday, I post brand new music that came out that week on the East Coast. There's usually about 10 to 20 songs, which might surprise some people that every does, single yes. week. It's and fantastic. it's like, that's the thing, right? And so, and this happened because I realized at one point that if I asked someone, can you, can you list five East Coast bands? The majority of people can't, not even our Juno winners. Which People don't so even know sad. how many Juno winners we have here. Yeah. And so the infrastructure just wasn't there to support them. And I think it's gotten so trendy to say support local, support local, and mm -hmm. buy from our local artists. And our music was left out of that. That's and very I, true. Yeah, and I noticed that and I thought, well, I'm going to pick up that torch and make sure that we don't leave that behind. And so I, I usually use the hashtag listen local. And I'm hoping to make that more of a movement. Yeah, I think it's fantastic. And I will say that I, I tend to think of myself as someone who listens locally mm -hmm. like from a long time ago I can remember being in junior high and like our teacher doing those like get to know everyone kind of questionnaires and everyone else is naming like the rap artists they listen to and I was naming local bands and everyone thought I was the geeky weird kid which yeah. I was but <laughs> <laughs> that just added to it it's oh fine. yeah and it was yeah. fun that's, that's it's all good but even now I still think that I'm fairly in tune and I was listening to one of your playlists coming in and I was like I don't know that artist. I don't know that artist. This is fantastic. There was all kinds of things that I hadn't heard. It was a very diverse musical mix. And then all of a sudden it was stuff I did know would click it. And it was this perfect mix of like what I would consider to be like old school, early 2000s <laughs> and like current stuff. And then some stuff that I'm like, I don't know if that's old or new, but it's fantastic. <laughs> so yeah, to the people who saw me just like, rocking out driving <laughs> this morning uh you can think commotion by jimmy swift <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah. yeah that's amazing yeah so the if you have not checked them out by the time we're finished this you want to go check out these playlists because you're definitely going to find something 
that is going to resonate with you. And I just want to say too, for the people who may not have Spotify, um, you can listen for free without an account. You'll get some ads in there. And if even that doesn't appeal to you, you can go to my website. And I have some of the playlists, not all of them, are embedded on there. And you can just listen to that way if you want to take part. That's a really uh, great idea because you're right, not everybody supports Spotify. So um, one thing that I was thinking, and I maybe it's because I was an Ontario kid, but when people think East Coast music, they're thinking sea shanties. They're, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like they're, they're thinking like, um, like your head immediately goes to bands like Great Big Sea, which I love Great Big Sea. And one time I saw them at the Coliseum years ago and I was the only person <laughs> in the entire place dancing and I could not figure out what is wrong with Moncton people and why they don't dance at concerts. Like it blows my mind. There's a lot to unpack there, but we'll talk about that <laughs> We're not going to go there. We're not going to go there. Um, like but why I don't say sociable. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I think that this is a great way to open people's eyes, is what I'm trying to say, to the fact that there is a heck of a lot of music that comes out of here that's not just Great Big C. It's Absolutely. not just classified. No, there's it's not, so you know. much. I really, that was part of like, now I obviously considered myself to be in someone very in tune. I got involved with the local music scene very heavily when I started doing photography for the ECMAs every year in 2012. Um, so I thought I was really in tune, and then when I started this project, I, I, I was still in tune, but there was a lot that I learned. And um, one of the things that I just thought was so unique and that I was so impressed with, uh, with our music scene specifically, was how many genres we have not just supported, but well supported here, and that they're being exported, they're being played on TV shows, and we don't even hear about it or understand that they're having that quiet success and then, you know, people at other places are appreciating them and then they're not really, they don't have this like big supportive home base. We haven't given them that and that breaks my heart. Like they should be able to have us cheering them on and backing them. So like I do, I have a rap playlist, um, which is kind of more of like a mix of rap, R&B. Sometimes there's a little bit of poppy stuff in there. Um, and I have a, an electronic playlist, which has a good mix of things in there. I have um, one called Get Jazzed, which is like jazz, classical, some instrumentals. Um, and there's new ones coming out all the time. And then I kind of like separate and wean them down a little bit to more to be more specific. But yeah, there's quite a few playlists so far. So and like I say, all the genres, they're all here. Mm, it's fantastic that there's it's not just that there's like a person doing it. Like you say, there's enough to make a playlist of all these different genres on the East Coast. Now, you mentioned the ECMAs, mm -hmm. and we can't let that go by without no. No. giving you a huge <laughs> congratulations on three nominations this year. Now, the Thank ECMAs you. just wrapped up just before we recorded this, but three nominations for your like first year out. Yeah. That is amazing. Congratulations. Yeah, I was, I was a pretty surprised by that. That's a cliche thing to say, but I was like, well, maybe if I'm lucky, I might get one. And it was funny. I was actually in class. I'm also a full-time university student and uh, at Mount A, where I also host a <laughs> weekly radio show on CHMA of East Coast Music. So you could check that out on Friday nights at 7 as well. Um, so yeah, I want to give that a shout out. But yeah, I, I, was, uh, I was sitting in my class and I got there early on purpose so I could watch the nominations roll out. <laughs> and then they had so many speeches that my class was starting. And just as my professor was like, okay, we're starting, I saw my name flash on the screen and I was like, oh my goodness. And I was like, I didn't concentrate very well in that class. No. And then, then when I got out of class, my phone was blown up. And that's how I found out I got two more because I didn't actually get to see those. So. Oh my goodness. Yes. Wow. Oh. Yeah. But, and my kids are very, very excited. They're the biggest, especially my eldest. They're like making me East Track Mine posters all the time and drawing the logo. And that's yeah. cool. And they got to come to the award show with me, which was great, but caused an interesting thing to occur. <laughs> Oh, tell us, Dude, tell us more. Oh, yeah, I think you need to hear this story. Okay, so we're at the award show, okay, I'm wearing like this like retro 70s dress that I got at the vintage shop that we used to have here. Um, and it's strapless and I have my two daughters, five and eight with me and we're at like one of those round tables. So you kind of like pivot your chair to like see the front, right? So my five year old is sitting like kind of behind me and kind of like to the side of me and that's where she wanted to sit. And um, the show ended up being two hours long. This is award show part two, where they do most of the industry awards on Sunday. And um, normally that one's not quite as long as like the first one, but this year they gave out 37 awards oh at gosh, that. Wow. And it was, it was long, okay? That's so 
my kids are doing great, it's an hour in, and she's like, okay, now I think I'm done. And for some reason, even though I had three nominations, all of mine were at the back end. <laughs> so the first one that they, that came around that I was nominated for was Industry Innovator. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and they're like, Industry Innovator, and I'm like, it's here. And my, I, I have no idea, I'll never understand the timing or how she did this, but at that exact moment, she reaches forward, grabs my dress zipper, zips it all the way down, all the way, and I, and it, again, it's strapless, and I'm like, <laughs> like, <laughs> and everyone at my table is like, oh my goodness, and, and, and they're rolling, I hear my name be, like, they're rolling the nominees as this happens. <laughs> it's pitch dark, obviously, in the audience, right? And I turn around, I say to my partner, like, get over here now, like, set me up. And he's, like, got his man hands, like, bent, like, you know, this tiny little zipper, and he's trying to find it in the dark. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he got it, like, just in time, but I was, like, actually kind of glad I didn't win that one. And my heart was racing for, like, oh, 10 minutes. I was, like, can you imagine? Like, no. And then, like, they turn, everyone turns to look at me, and, my, like, my job. <laughs> you're, you're just hanging on to yourself. So oh, I was, nice. like... I yeah. kind of like pushed my back against the chair the rest of the night <laughs> to protect myself, yeah. but I, I kind of was like, okay, well, at least I got a good story out of that, but it was like terrifying for a few minutes. <laughs> Can you imagine if you had to stand up at that exact moment? Oh like, oh uh, man, oh my gosh. kid life. Kid know, life, yeah. Right, what are you yeah. gonna do? Like yeah. try, trying to like go to something fancy with kids. Something's yeah. gonna happen, right? They're gonna, I just will never understand. Like that thing was two hours long. And how did she unzip it at the one specific yes. moment? Yes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, but it was a good time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> overall. Yeah, overall. Yeah. And all the nominees are great. And, uh, you know, I was so happy to be able to. They also gave out a lot of the musical awards that night. And it was just so fun to see. And I was at the gala on Thursday, but I was taking photos as I tend to do. So, <laughs> yeah, so I didn't sit down. But, yeah. Fantastic. <laughs> so speaking of kids, that's one of the other things that we wanted to talk about today. True. Good yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, can't let that one go by. <laughs> so we've talked about some of the playlists that you have on East Track Mind, and you have, you know, like you said, Indigenous, you've got a jazz one, you've got a pride one, you've got a new one yes, coming out. Yes, I do. And I love, I've loved and followed Pickle Planet for years and years and years with my kids. It was my Bible every weekend, like, where am I taking my kids? So I was thinking, like, hey, like, if I am going, I'm going to be releasing a kids playlist, which I'm really excited about. It's called Get Growing. And, oh, I love um, that name. Yeah. That's fantastic. <laughs> all of my playlists are Get Something, so oh, cool. <laughs> they're all kind of yeah. branded that way. So I, this one's Get Growing. And uh, it's really exciting. I actually um, spoke with like the New Brunswick School Board and they have written every district head and all of the schools, French and English, have been offered this program so that they know when they, if they want to play music in their classroom for a bit, they know that this is a resource for them Whoa. so that they're I growing up like, on local <gasps> music. It's like, get them young, right? Yeah. Local yes. music. Yes. And um, yeah, so there's so many great bands on there. Silly Robbie, Gordy McKeeman, who just won oh the Children's he Recording of the Year. Amazing. He won on Sunday. Oh, and uh, he is absolutely amazing. Um, there's so many great artists on the list, so I'm really excited to share it. And I thought, what better place to share that news than here, where, where you guys are running so many family events and doing so many awesome things for the community. And yeah, yeah so I'm really excited yeah. about it. And uh, so are we. I can't yeah. wait to listen to it with the kids. Now. Yeah, you have to yeah. test it out with oh your kids. Oh my goodness, yes. <laughs> and a lot of them are educational. I actually love our kids' artists. We have uh, one of our artists is Dr. G, and he writes all songs about science. He's love a it. very educated person, and he has used that to make really cool music for kids. Oh, awesome. And they're all Who about like space and things? science. And my my oh. eldest loves space or anything to do with science, oh. really. So yeah, I love his music. Oh, yeah. fantastic! Oh yeah. my goodness, I'm so excited. I know. Um, Oh, oh no, no, I'm blanking on his name. Um, Matt. His name is Matt. Matt He's down man? towards, yes, yes, down the valley. Absolutely. Yes, my kids love he his stuff. He is on there, for yes. sure. Yeah, I got he him. Is a boot. <laughs> my kids, back before the pandemic, when things happened in schools, right. he came mm -hmm. and performed Aww. for the kids. And I know, like our school has been fantastic to bring in local musicians. That's amazing. And so my kids know who Matt the music man is, and they know Art Richard, and I'm so excited to give them even more there's some really, really great to. ones, and uh, so I'm really excited to be able to put that out there to the schools and put it out there for any kids' events, you know, or any kids' mm -hmm. um, 
just uh, any kid activities and things like mm -hmm. that around here, businesses that could be playing that for the kids. Well, and places, I'm thinking like places like the market that might have music playing mm -hmm. that they want a very family friendly environment. Absolutely, like, yeah. how fantastic. I love that the schools are getting behind it as well. Like, yeah. that is so important. I'm so happy to hear that. Seriously. Oh, yeah. yeah. I want to know um, with your kids at the ECMAs, who are they most excited to see? Because they obviously know, you know an awful lot of our music, right? They so. do, but they did not get to take in any of the events. There was one kids show um, on Saturday afternoon, but they weren't with me yet that day. But they saw three performances at the um, award show, which they were, that was like when they were happiest, when there was music. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah. You don't want to watch people give speeches <laughs> but when there's music, but they love local music. Uh, they're really into... Uh, we saw Joel Plaskett on my birthday a couple years ago. He just happened to be play, playing Fun Day and All Ages oh. Show on my birthday, and we went. Perfect. And my videos from that are some of my favorite stuff in the world. My eldest got really wanted to hear him play through and through and through. And she couldn't understand yet. She was younger. She couldn't understand, like, that you need to wait or that it might be played later. So when he was three songs in, she got into it. Like, she was upset. She was pouting. She was looking down. She Her day was ruined, okay? Oh, no. <laughs> and then he asked if there was any requests. And everyone's screaming like crazy. And I just said, like, it's my birthday. And he heard me. And he, he deferred to me. And I wanted to hear down at the Kyber. But <laughs> I was like, look at her face. So I was like, she really wants to hear, like, through and through and through. And he was like, oh, well, like, I was actually going to end with that. Because it's like this big, you know, burst right, yeah. right at the end he's like can, can you wait like I'll play it and she just like looks at him like <laughs> and he's like okay well everybody I'm gonna play it now <laughs> but uh you're gonna have to pretend at the end you know when it gets all like that it that it was like you know this big exciting ending yeah. so she got her wish and then she was happy the rest of the show and my my youngest was having birthday cupcakes and she was just like swaying with oh her God. eyes closed just like in bliss <laughs> So they actually called him Joel Plastic for years. <laughs> they thought that was his name, Joel Plastic, and I just went with it because yeah, I yeah. loved it. But yeah. Oh, that's Let fantastic. Yeah. And they love the Motor League, so oh, as well. Very yeah. nice. I've selected with the songs they hear from them. <laughs> <laughs> but Maisie loves it, so yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. Especially, um, like, that's as local as you get. They're right here in town, right? It's so, true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's as local as you get. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My kids are all about Chris Colpaw, but that's because they know his daughter. Yes. Uh, and they've grown up with him. And, and any time that Chris is on in the car, they're always, like, dead silent. And they're, I think they're in this, like, awe, right, of, like, I know him, and this is his voice on the radio. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. That. Even though their mom's on the radio. But anyway. Yeah, but <laughs> that's, that's not, not as cool, right? right? It, it doesn't, doesn't count. count. It, it doesn't, doesn't count. count. It doesn't. <laughs> but I love the power of that, right? Like, that they recognize, mm -hmm. like, this is someone like me. This is someone who lives here. This is someone who had a talent. This is something they do, and they understand and it gives, that. And like, kids who might have musical leanings to realize, like, this is what I can do with that, or, like, it's okay to like that, or I can, you know, maybe be a musician and maybe make it, or maybe, you know, or at least have it as a hobby on the side. And, like, they might, I, I know that I was raised with music from a very young age, and sometimes kids are really drawn to a certain instrument or, you know, and they know that the, the way that they usually know that is by seeing someone play it live for the first mm -hmm. time and then they go, I want that. And that's how you like fall in love with things, you know, it's an experience and you fall in love with it from that experience. Well, and I love that your children and everyone that we're going to, you know, talk about you now to their kids mm -hmm. can see to the industry side of things, because I think for so so long that's kind of been in the shadows of mm -hmm. all the things connected to something you can do right like mm -hmm. yeah not all of us have the musical talent to be yeah, exactly. a musician nope. exactly. some of us should not ever try <laughs> to do that <laughs> but it doesn't mean you can't have an entire career mm -hmm. in that industry and have it locally there's it takes so many industry people and so many different types of industry people to make this work as evidenced by the fact that I said we gave out 37 awards on Sunday it's a huge huge thing and yeah, we usually are in the shadows or not seen as much and whatnot, or people don't realize how many people it takes to make the rock stars look cool, you know, like the photographers and the, all of those things. Like, that's not a mistake that takes skill and years of practice and expensive gear and all of those things. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and the more you understand the music, the more you're better at yeah. You know, photographing it Absolutely. or, you know, doing the sound for it or doing the publicity yeah, for it. I know it the all artists. rolls together. I know when they're going to move and where and exactly how every time because I've seen them so many times doing photography. That, and that's and that, that comes with years and years of experience, you know, shooting the same people over and over again yeah. in this area that I, I know them and I know exactly where I want to stand and be and how to get the shot. And yeah, <laughs> that is hard. I'm going to put mm. you on the spot. Do you have a favorite? 
favorite artist? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I feel bad. <laughs> She's like, I have various categories. Yes, Here yeah. they are. I, I feel bad saying an artist this big because, but like anyone watching this will like be like, you're you liar if I don't because everybody knows who my favorite band is. Okay, my favorite band since I was eight years old has been Sloan. I am a uh, huge Sloan fan. It's an easy one to pick. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I am just absolutely crazy for them and like, yeah, they're they're the first you know band that I played on my radio show when I launched it because I couldn't play anything else. I found a VHS taped from much music of the Lines You Men music video when I was eight. And I used to sit there and rewind it, rewind it, and from there, like, I was gone. And so their music has literally taken me through every stage of my life. So it's almost nostalgia at this point that mm -hmm. it's just, like, there's a connection there. I love that band. But in terms of, like, maybe something uh, more local, um, I can tell you that some of the best shows I saw over the weekend, mm. I actually made, I actually made a top ten shows to see list for ECMA.com mm. before leaving. Uh, I was asked to do that guest post, and a lot of the artists I picked won awards this weekend, so nice. I was like, I felt really good about that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kelly McMichael, she won, I think, Rock mm -hmm. Recording of the Year. She is absolutely amazing. You've got to hear her music if you haven't. She's incredible. Uh, Willie Stratton, uh, mm -hmm. I've been playing his latest album on repeat for days now, but <laughs> his, his showmanship is just like nothing else. Like, he kind of dresses almost like Elvis, and he's just, oh. he's got that voice. His voice is amazingly powerful. Uh, I highly recommend him as well. Um, who was the other one I saw that was like really, really great band? There, there were so many. Mm -hmm. uh, Andre Pettipa put on a great show. Um, and yeah, there was amazing artists all weekend. There was, it's hard to pick, but yeah, those <laughs> are, I'm really into like indie rock. And so I try really hard to like bring all genres in, but like that's where that's I kind of- That's where your heart is. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's where I lean when I'm listening on my own, but I do listen to them all. Wolf Castle put on a, a great Cole, show. He is fantastic. Here in New Brunswick he representing. He is, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my goodness, he's amazing. Yeah. Tristan, and I, yeah. his name, yeah. And I met him briefly at, um, at the gala, we bumped into each other, and he was so sweet too. So like, I love supporting people like that when you meet them and you know they're really nice and they're, they're out there, you know, putting their heart and soul into what they're doing and- I think that's the other thing that stands out for me about the East Coast music scene is that it's so much a family. There's mm. so much community among the majority of people who are in the industry here on the East Coast. And I think that shines through at events like the ECMA, right? When you get to see everyone, like just watching. I didn't go to the ECMAs this year. Um, sure wish she you did. can tell. Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> just, yeah. um, but even just watching online, everyone, was just I mean there's that everyone was just so happy to see everyone again but that feeling of you know everyone really is excited for everyone to be nominated and everyone we're to genuinely be happy for each other I was like you know what? I lost three times and I left there happy as a clam I oh, did yeah. not care I was like wow mm -hmm. those people were great like you know <laughs> yeah. like one of the guys that put like 17 years in the industry like I, I don't want to win over that guy he's earned it like right? let yeah. me earn it for a while you <laughs> yeah. know like so they've all done like such amazing things but uh so yeah i think that's you do see that everyone's really happy for each other and everyone wants the others to succeed and um we're all kind of there supporting each other or you'll, you'll see a lot of the musicians come out to support the other mm -hmm. shows mm -hmm. because they know that person they like that person and like i should say it too another one that really blew me away was chloe bro and she's oh, awesome here. if you haven't seen her yet yes. yeah a, a, an acadian artist and she if she doesn't go places i will be shocked She's incredible, and she's to be that incredible that young. Like you know, <laughs> she's she's gonna have a, a couple uh, a lot of success, success I think. I should have brought a piece of paper and a pen. I, well, you just have to listen back. Yeah, they're all notes. on my well, page. Everyone I said go, is on yes, there. They're all just gonna go to East Track Mind. And so remind everyone before mm -hmm. we wrap up here, what's the best way to find you and all your fantastic playlists, including Get Growing. Yeah, you can find all of those on Spotify. All you have to do is type in East Track Mind on Spotify and you will see them. You can also find me on Facebook and Instagram and connect with me there. I share new music on those social media platforms every Friday, like I said. And uh, yeah, I've got, I sometimes post live shows that are coming up so you'll know about those. Any big news is, is going to be on there. It's a really great way if you want to connect with local music and you don't know where to start. I am your tour guide. Absolutely. <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for And chatting me. with us. And uh, yeah, everyone, enjoy listening. <laughs> See you next week. Bye.